I hadn't seen Dave in years. He was actually the main guy who made the championship wrestling belts for the WWE. Wow. There he is. Oh, King. Dave. How are you, buddy? Good, man. How are you? Good to see Good you. To see you. Dave, this is AJ, AJ Francis. Francis. Hey, AJ. Nice to meet Dave, you. Dave, nice to meet you. Lovely place you got here. Thank you. You are way out in the country way now, out. man. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. King, I think there's some stuff out here you'll recognize. Are you kidding me? I have baseball memorabilia. I have a little bit of music memorabilia. But the heart and soul of it is wrestling memorabilia. And the heart and soul of wrestling to me is and always has been Jerry Lawler. So memorabilia of Jerry's is just very important to me. Every item in here has a story. Yes. I mean, every item in here, yeah. You know, there's all kind of history. Um, well, as a matter of fact, um, I don't know. Maybe it's history you don't want to talk about. Uh, you know what? I, I, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. That's the shirt I was wearing the night I had the cardiac arrest. A cardiac arrest means your heart just stops and you're dead. A lot of times, start doing the commentary, and I'd stand up, take the headsets off, and I would go in and wrestle a match. So I'm sitting there doing the commentary with Michael Cole, and the bell rings, they start playing my music. I say, well, Michael, I'll be back. Well, there you go. Went up into the ring, had the match, me and uh, Randy Orton against Dolph Ziggler and CM Punk. Randy and I win the match. I come over, I sit down at the desk, didn't really feel anything out of the ordinary. This guy's been, he's been off, way off. Jerry Lawler has a very quick delivery on his commentary. Gets his thoughts in quick, rapid fire quick, and gets him in. And I knew something's wrong because I heard it in his voice. And then, boom, I just fell over. Jerry's off you, buddy. Jerry. Jerry, uh, Jerry collapsed and was, uh, uh, he was stretched to the back to the locker room area. But Jerry is receiving medical attention as we speak. Everybody that doesn't need to be here, let's get out of here! It was 22 minutes before they actually got Pavels and shot my heart seven times. It, God, it was a really, really scary moment. You know, I was getting sort of real-time updates on, on what was happening as it was happening. And nobody really knew exactly what had happened other than he had been rushed to the hospital. We were lucky that a WWE doctor was there. Because that's one of those situations, different place, different time, uh, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the King with him. I had been saying that it was the shirt that you, that you died in. And then my girlfriend pointed out to me, she said, more importantly, isn't the, the shirt that he came back to life in? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a great point. It's very apropos that the shirt literally says immortal on it. Hmm. Now I can actually book myself as the zombie the king zombie. because I died and came back to life. And that's a, that's a meaning of a zombie right there. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a very special thing to me. So, yeah. you know, I couldn't let that go just anywhere. So it was going to be well preserved. Gosh, man. Everywhere you look, there's something. Is that Andy Carpenter? That is, Andy? I had to throw Andy in there. <laughs> you, had to, you do have to throw Andy in there. You can't that's leave Andy great. out. That's right. There is something that I need to know if you have somewhere else, because I haven't seen it yet. The neck brace that Andy Kaufman wore after the two pile drivers <laughs> from Jerry the King Lawler. You know, I do not have the neck brace, nor do I know where it is. I wish I could be of more help, but that's, uh, that's it's okay. something, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to have that to show off, for sure. What I do have is I have a pair of boots that Jerry wore Oh, wow. Well. In different well. matches against Andy. And Coffin slapping him. That's got to be a worse indignity than it is anything else to Jerry. I wrestled against Andy Kaufman for months. We did so many different things. We involved Jimmy Hart. I'm going to have the last laugh on you, Kaufman, and you, Hart. <laughs> okay. Okay. King, King. Jimmy Hart is not only the mouth of the South and one of the greatest wrestling managers of all time, but he managed Jerry the King Lawler. And he managed Andy Kaufman in the feud with Jerry the King Lawler. I was already a heel manager at the time, so the people hated me and hated Andy, so it was a great combination. But it, it took Jerry Lawler, his genius, his mind, putting us two together, because his motto was two sticks are harder to break than one. And there they are. I, I see them right there. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, man. So along with a photo right there of Andy. Oh yeah, there, there you go. There's a match with me wearing the boots and Andy, what's he doing? He's choking you. Andy choking me. <laughs> <laughs> this is history right here. They were orange originally, I yeah, think, and they yeah, got sprayed yeah. red. Jerry did things like that to match his costumes. I was the worst at that. <laughs> Every uh, week I would either get out some spray paint or markers or whatever. It helps I changed my look, yeah. yeah. And I come into every hunt with a list of items that I want to get. But I'm not afraid to go off list if I find something that I view is important enough for WWE to try and preserve. I'm wondering what you think is a honest offer for this ring worn gear. Oh my gosh. It's, it's just not that easy. You know, as much a, of an appreciation as I have for sharing this with fans, uh, you know, those boots mean an awful lot to me. What do you think about $2,500? Gosh, no. That's uh, you know, it's I wouldn't know what I next week. I would know. You feel insulted, don't I, you? Yeah. I do. I, I I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you next week what I did with that money. It's uh, you know, I have a budget. And it's understand. not even my budget. I understand completely. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like the budget is just given to make me look like an ass. <laughs> 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 I don't want to insult you again, but forty-five hundred dollars is as high as I can go. AJ, the same answer that I just gave you is true. I got to reach out to Triple H and see if he can talk to you a little bit talk better. Boss, I'm man. sure that he can convince you better than I can. <laughs> hey, Triple H, how you doing? What's going on, AJ? What's happening, man? Uh, we are trying to negotiate for these boots that Jerry wore in a match for Sandy Kaufman. Tell me where you at. 4,500. They're just very sentimental to me. It's really, it's, it's not about uh, a cash grab. At some point, everybody has a number, I guess, but I didn't have a number in mind because I, I had- Never uh, thought about selling them, right? Exactly right. And that's what I've told everybody that's ever asked me. Let's pass the, the, the financial side for a second because I think sometimes the sentimental value for somebody like you, that means more than the cash value side of it. Absolutely. What if I could get Jerry to offer you something that would be more personal to you? You know what? Dave is such a collector. If you can turn around, Dave has a piece of artwork that I did in 1968 when I was just a fan. What if there was some way to do a picture of you and commemorate this transaction that would be a, a one of a kind, meaningful piece? Would that be something that would interest you? Um, if we could do $5,000 and then do something that King and I will work out on artwork. At that point, I feel like I'm not mistreating you, and I'll feel OK about it, too. Done. I think we're, we are doing something special here. I really appreciate you being a part of that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. AJ. What's up? Checking in, see where you're at with some stuff. Were you, uh, how's the king of the ring? Uh, Trying all that. How's that going? Uh, well. You know, he's still thinking about that, but I, I think that's going to work. But, you know, you never know with Jerry, so. What about the, the Kaufman neck brace? Anything on that? Um, we really don't know where it is right now. Well, here's the stuff, AJ. This stuff isn't going to be easy to find. You're going to have to turn over every rock and and uh, look in every corner and every cabinet. Let's, let's make a list. Talk to Jerry, even, and ask Jerry maybe who was in and around those scenarios, who was at the building, who was at the... You know, when they went to Letterman, who was there? You know, let's let's figure it out. It's not gonna be easy. Yeah. There we go, guys. Oh, that's really cool, man. King of Look belts. at that. Incredible.